6 News WOWT starts with 6 First Alert Weather Day coverage. We've seen a busy, severe weather season across Nebraska. More than 400 reports of hail, according to the Storm Prediction Center. A new law concerning concealed guns takes effect across Nebraska next month. With that, the jury finds the man accused of driving through a group of protesters in Iowa last year not guilty on all charges. In June 2022, David Huston was charged with assault and leaving the scene of a crash in Cedar Rapids. At least 53 people are dead from three devastating wildfires as thousands more try to escape the flames. Now we have aerial video here showing the smoke rising from buildings. The flames devastated more than 270 structures of Lahaina town. Our sister station in Honolulu is reporting that fire crews are making progress and the fire is now 80% contained. And the fire in Pulejo is reported to be 70% contained and a containment percentage for the fire in Kula is still pending tonight. Today, President Biden approved a disaster declaration as island officials say help can't come fast enough. Biden says he's ordered all available federal assets to the island, including the U.S. Coast Guard, the Navy Third Fleet, and the U.S. Army to assist. Breaking update, this is Sydney Pudence. She's from Papillion and lives in Lahaina. Six News' Brian Mastery reports that she was safely evacuated but returned to the island today. She updated Brian, saying that her home is a total loss. Six News' Jacqueline Fernandez has more on that variant and what experts say you can expect from it. Jacqueline. Well, the city agrees it's much needed. However, who should do it surprised those neighbors. Mike McKnight shows us why there's a growing dispute in tonight's Six on Your Side report. The parks director says the overgrown land is identified as a right of way with responsibility on the adjacent landowner and his department to enforce that code. Now, he referred us to the Public Works Department, which is also digging into that issue. Yeah, Mike has Ford Tri-Motor, America's first mass-produced airliner, made a stop in the metro. Some new stuff here if you're heading down to Lincoln in the next couple of weeks. If you're attending events at Lincoln's Memorial Stadium, the Bomb Devaney Sports Center, or the Lead Center, you can now reserve parking ahead of time through a new parking app called Park Mobile. You can choose reserve parking, just enter Lincoln, Nebraska, and fans attending Volleyball Day can reserve parking for $11. It is too early now to register for parking for football games. We're about to go back in time. The Ford Tri-Motor made a pit stop at the Millard Airport today. Built in the 1920s, the aircraft was part of one of the first successful 12 passenger airliners. Yeah, I think at this time we should thank you for staying late. And I did check with the boss and you won't be paid. So, but <laughs> that so is true. <laughs> basically, you're volunteering. So we really appreciate that. Well, I'm glad you do, John. Thanks so much. Emily. Yeah. I think she's actually being voluntold. <laughs> Could be. I will always stay for severe weather. Yes, we need her yeah. on top of it. Thanks, That's Em. That's the spirit right there. <laughs> well, more athletes now charged in Iowa's illegal sports betting investigation. I have a big gallery this weekend, too. I love how in golf, uh, negative eight is a good score. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thunk uh, it? <laughs> well, there's more to talk about to explain this game to you. Please educate me <laughs> yes. as we go to commercial break. We'll be right back. Emily, we're still tracking those storms that are supposed to hit here in the next couple of hours. Yeah, we have a... Yeah, so like tonight, you're going to stay late. Do you just stare at the radar screen or do you bring a crossword puzzle and work on that? And you know, I keep an eye on it, but usually I have something else to keep me occupied. Oh, do you? Yeah. John's okay. so intrigued. He yeah. really wants to be a part of the weather team. That's what it is. It's been my desire for a long time. Maybe one day, John. Keep working at it. I have faith in you. <laughs> You're so kind. Thank, Thank you. you. That wraps up 6 News Live at 10. Daybreaks at 430. Good, Good night. night.